Hey, so today I'll be like working on this particular challenge. It's called update project timeline process. So let's look at the first step of it. As a first step, we will have a CSV file where we have this particular data in it. We have project name, we have uh, delivery manager's name, and we have the start date. Then let's go to the uh, second step and right here, right? So we have to fetch the data of uh, where the delivery manager is double Z. Okay, we have to fetch the project name and we have to obviously fetch the delivery manager's name and the start date of it. And then as a step three, right here, we have to insert a new column called end date uh, where the dates will be here as we have 2018, the date should be 2019 right here with that basic understanding let's see how we have to uh, how we can actually implement it so back to the ui path from here i will try to like implement that particular solution i'm just clicking on this main.xaml and here is the workspace first thing that i have to do is because i have to read the data available than that let me go to this particular project folder and here is the input that i have to read okay to read this particular thing let me go back don't save let me go back to this and i will go to activities to read csv we have csv activities okay read csv here as you can see it has got few properties in it it is expecting the file path and because uh, CSV can have any delimiter you can use comma you can use semicolon kind of things okay so encoding we, do, we don't require it right here and it has headers so it's checked and it's something where you just ignore a few things okay while reading CSV so as an output we want to save this particular thing into some data table control k dt and enter so we have created a variable which is of type data table let me pass the path to it if i just click here i can pass the input file that i have with me and that's it okay let's see if we are able to read this particular data table output data file and here I'm passing data table and I'm taking that into a string let me use a message box right here the purpose of output data table is just to check if you are able to read something okay so i was able to read this particular details from that csv so the next step that we have is we have to display the details of the delivery managers whose name starts with double z for that let me take for each row i'm dragging it right here to this i have to pass this particular data table so here it is and then because we want to display only uh, the, we have we have to display the data when it's zz right so for that we have to take a condition i'm taking if condition right here and row off so if you just go back to that particular file if i open this so this is the name of that particular column so i have to like copy it go back to this and i will just try to paste it right here dots to string equal to double z sorry it should be here fine so when this condition is satisfied we have to display those particular values here to display that we'll use message box 
here it is and then i will try to display let me check the different columns available right here so it is project name delivery manager right so just copy this it should be project name project name so here we have that particular project name details in row of this dot to string okay uh, let me go to this field here so we have got the project name and we want to display the manager name also and we have to display the start name to do that right if i just go ahead and if i just keep it as delivery manager okay and row of delivery manager dot to string plus then i have to display the start name you can uh, try copying it from here just to avoid typo errors row of this dot to string okay, there's an error over here let me check what it is okay yeah fine so this should actually display this those details to us okay this is start date fine let us check that particular thing once so right here if i just try to run it so we have that particular output data table being executed and then we have project name as bb delivery name as gg and start name as this and similar to that project name as cc delivery manager as gg and start date as this it's ended so as you have just seen right so we were successfully able to display these values but all of them were coming on the same line just to handle that what we can do is we can place vblf visual basic line feed okay by using this you can introduce a new line wherever you need it vblf so the next time when we run it it will be like taken into the new line so we are done with this requirement also if you remember right so the last one was that we have to enter we have to like add a new column with the name end date and then we have to replace 2018 with 2019 cool so what we can do right here is we can delete it because we don't need it right now okay so to do that right so we have an activity called add column you can use this and so you have to add this particular column to this data table you can mention the data table here and the column name so column name will be end date okay so once we have done that now it's our work is to like assign those values to this particular column to do that we'll use for each again i'll explain you why so in for each i'm trying to pass the data table that i have and because for each right by using for each we'll be going through each and every item or the row available in that particular data table which is a representation of whatever csv file that we have okay here as we were able to fetch the values by using the syntax row of delivery manager equal to this we can also try to assign some values to that particular existing data table to do that we can use assign activity here and then 
we can use row of because the new column name is and date here you can just mention uh, so because at this particular point of time right so we will have with us the first row so obviously we will have row of start date value with us so here what i will try to do is i'll convert it to string let me see there's another okay take dot to string and then i will use replace function where i will just try to replace 2018 with 2019 okay yeah so once that is done we have uh, when this is being executed we'll have the new data table which will contain the new column and some details in it but finally we have to write it back to the data table the csv file that we have okay because right now we only have it virtually in the data table but we have to push it to the csv file to do that we'll use csv write data so here it will expect the file name so you can just pass this to it and the data table that we want to write back to the csv it's dt that's it we want uh, to write back the headers also so with that i think we are ready to go so let me execute this once so as you can see we have the new lines right now here it looks pretty good to actually see it and then the execution is completed let's go back to the project folder and i will try to access this and you can see there is a new column called end date to the input file that we had okay and the dates here it's 2018 and here it's 2019 hope uh, you have got a good knowledge about how to deal with uh, csv manipulations and data table manipulations we'll be like creating more videos on such kind of challenges hope you will enjoy it actually thanks